Active at Kill Disk allows the user a way to securely delete data from a hard drive, a solid state drive, or a USB connected device. With Active at Kill Disk open, along the left, you see all connected devices. If you do not see a device you think you should, click the refresh icon in the upper left hand corner. For demonstration purposes, we are also going to use the Disk Viewer. Disk Viewer shows us the low level data on the selected drive in a hexadecimal format. To open Disk Viewer, across the top, click Disk Viewer. With Disk Viewer open, to go back to your list, click on the Disk Explorer tab. To erase information from a volume, partition, or drive, select the desired device and across the top, click Erase Disk. In this new window, I see the information about this disk. I can choose to erase the entire disk, all the volumes on the disk, any unallocated space, or an exact disk area. In the Disk Erase area, you can choose the Erase method by using the drop-down menu. KillDisk provides a wide variety of options for erasing data, including the Department of Defense 3-pass and 7-pass methods with verification. I will select the Department of Defense 3-pass verification required, which means my checkbox to select verify is now grayed out because Active at Kill Disk will automatically do this. I could choose to eject the disk when I'm finished or initialize the disk. In the Erase Certificate area, you can choose a location to save your erasure certificate. You can select a file named template for that certificate. And you could decide if you would like to include detailed information about the hardware, and you could choose to show a logo. If desired, you can also show the computer ID on the certificate by using that dropdown as well. In the Erase Report area, you can decide where Active at Kill Disk will save the report, the file name template for the report, and if you would like to include the system and hardware information and or the technician's information. Let's leave all of that at its default and click Start to begin. Since we are erasing data, Kill Disk requires that we type in this key phrase, erase all data, to ensure this is truly what we would like to do. This is the last check before data is permanently deleted. So if you're positive this is what you would like to do, type in erase-all-data and click OK. Now the process has begun. The amount of time it takes to complete this process is dependent on the size of the drive or volume being erased and the write speed of the drive. Once the process is complete, you get a flashing message that says erased and you get a new window. In this window, you see information about the process. For example, I can see that it was erased and there were no errors. I can also see the erase method. I could print the erase certificate, or by clicking Browse with the certificate or the report, I can go to that file on my computer. Let's click Browse on the certificate. That opens the window where the certificate is stored and the certificate's already selected. I'll double click to open and the certificate shows me my results, my erase method, my data range, my erase range, and information about all three passes that I chose. Below that, I can see system information and hardware information. If I go back to my disk viewer, I can now see the changes on my volume here as well. Aside from erasing an entire hard disk volume or partition, Active at Kill Disk can also wipe unused data, leaving used data alone. To do this, select the desired device partition or volume, and across the top, click Wipe Disk. Much like we had for erasing a disk, we have some wiping options. By using the drop down, we can select the desired erasure method. In this case, we'll stay with the Department of Defense three pass method which checks the Verify Erasure box for us. We could choose to wipe unused clusters, wipe the metadata and system files area, and or wipe the slack space in the file clusters. In the Erase Certificate area, as before, we could select an area to save the certificate, affect the file name template, include detail information about the hardware, show a logo on the certificate, and show computer ID information. 
In the erase report area, we could choose where to save the file, how to name the file, if we would like to include system and hardware information, or if we would like to include technician information. Once all settings are as desired, click Start to begin the process. Now the process has begun. The amount of time it takes to complete this process is dependent on the size of the drive or volume being erased and the write speed of the drive. Once the process is complete, you get a new window. Here, you see the results of the wipe. You can tell I used the Department of Defense three-pass method. I could print the wipe certificate, or I could open the certificate or the erase report. To open the certificate or the erase report, click Browse. This opens the folder housing the report and selects the report for you. The report will show the device information, the wipe method, the time and date of the wipe, partition information, system information, and hardware information. For more information about Active at KillDisk, please go to www.killdisk.com.